Alright, so we're wrong. So we're wrong. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors unto our apostles and elders of the great known town that rule well. Much peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. We're brothers from the great known town, Miami camp. Coming back out here another Wednesday to, to preach the, the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? That we was taught by our apostles and elders. Alright, the true teachers of the nation of Israel, okay? And the Lord, yeah, you know, got us out here in uh, Hollywood, Florida again, with the Spirit, okay? And uh, just to put this out there, this uh, brother right here, from us, brother uh, Yarmai, he got, he's going through something, uh, bodily injuries, you know, but uh, plus some prayers for him, Bob the shop, all right? And the Lord uh, blesses his uh, kidneys and his organs and his health, you know, see the brother with the, with the staff and wondering why, okay? But anyway, we're just going to go to the street. You say you had an article, right? I had an article. A New York, I, mean, I got an article on New York uh, Times. Turn it up. It says, misery engulfs the south as heat wave spreads. Temperature will be up 20 degrees above normal for much of the region throughout at least the weekend. You know what region? It says, for much, for, for much, like the above normal for much of the region throughout at least the, the weekend with no nighttime relief. What region is that speaking of? Uh, it's the south, southeast, southeast region. Southeast region? Yeah. Okay, that's that's going into the, um, you know, the different plagues. That's in the book of Revelation. I forget what you're talking about. Know, okay. You know, the Lord is going to send that heat and, and smite people. Okay. Which is which is a, a, a definite uh, plea, and people can see which, there's many articles on that. Even on the last few years, I believe last year you had the hottest uh, record, hottest uh, the heat record in, in over there in Europe. Motherfuckers was dying, and it's hey, and they talking about blackouts. Don't you know they go a blackout in this heat? Motherfuckers gonna drop dead within a couple within hours. You're gonna have a lot of these old folks in nursery homes because that happened. Okay, when the Mosai uh, sends different hurricanes, you get one of these last uh, powerful hurricanes that hit. Okay, the nursery home power went out and all the old people died. There's no AC You're up in there in these buildings up on the 30th floor somewhere and the fucking power go out. Your ass gonna cook. You know? Um, shit, matter of fact, uh, trying to get. Y'all got an article. From CNN.com, are the U.S. malaria cases in Florida and Texas a cause for concern? Our our medical analyst weighs in. Um, it says the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issue an alert this week to clinicians that there are locally acquired cases of malaria in Florida and Texas. It's a lot of a lot of uh, things been happening in uh, South Florida lately. Um, it says with four cases identified in Florida and one in Texas over the past two months, and it's uh, malaria spreading through these uh, mosquitoes. Okay, but you had um, a bunch of mosquitoes not long ago got released, GMO mosquitoes. Yeah. I remember that, and they said they released them in Florida. And I believe uh, Texas as well, but yeah, I know uh, Florida. So that's a real that's a real plague, malaria. That's a real disease. You wait until that shit, the most I start sending these real plagues. Probably the shark on the have a uh, have a Ciroc. What's that Ciroc uh, 39? Spirit spirit of vengeance. Rock 39, it says, all these things are for good, all these things are for good to the godly. So they say to the sinners, they are turning to evil. No, you know what, you can, you can start up, man. You can, since you start up, they start at uh, 25. Rock 39, is starting at 25, it says for the good, for the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. 
Right, meaning what you put out is what you get back. Okay, don't people say that? Well, that's, that's scriptural. Okay, the, 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 if you do right, then you're going to receive right. If you do wrong, you're going to receive wrong. Sin life at the door, as uh, the most I told Cain. Okay? Go. It says the principal thing for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. So these are your victuals, these are essentials. Essential to life, meaning uh, the bare necessities, uh, if you will. Okay? Keep going. It says all these things are for good to the godly. So to the sinners that are turned into evil. Right. All these things are, are, are good things, but Esau can, you know, Esau, wicked, Jake, heathen, they can take things that the Lord created and and uh, make, you know, do evil with it. All right. And, and this devil, Esau, Edom, he basically has done this to the whole planet. He, he, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. He poisons the, the food. He, he uh, poisons the land. Okay, uh, the, the most I told Ezekiel that he would eat his bread to foul. That's us right now. Even the wine that brothers drink, that's that's not real wine. You know, we drink it because that's what, what we what we got, but you know we we the, the, the this earth has been turned uh, polluted. Alright, so see uh he saw basically turned things upside down. Okay, everything is, is backwards, okay, even the people. Right, that's how we know we're living in the time of judgment. Okay. It says, everything that are created... So, 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 like so, so mosquito. A mosquito has a use. Okay. has a purpose. Okay, but Esau is going to GMO the mosquito and try to turn it into something else. Hey. <laughs> But we know Esau is the left hand of the Most High. Okay, so Esau plays out evil on the earth. He, 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 he manifests that evil. Keep going. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease, and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right, so there's actual spirits. There's actual living beings like you and I, okay? Like, like uh, you know, have an intelligence, which that's what the word demon means, intelligence. Or you have spirits out here on the right hand and on the left hand that the Most High set up to ex exact vengeance on, on individuals, okay? So you may have someone that was a, a serial adulterer, right? Uh, things stop popping other men's wives. Well, the Lord may have it to where he he, he get caught in a, in a crazy accident somehow. You could be at the gas station pumping gas and the shit just ignite and, and you blow away. Or a random bullet, okay? Because it's going to talk about fire, which uh, I don't know if you read that part, but you can read this, the last verse again. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance or in their fury lit, in their fury lit on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and the peace, the wrath of him that made them. All right, so hey, those spirits, if they're doing the will of Yahweh Shimon Shah. Okay, so it's righteous. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. See, for wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to, to, to destruction. What's the modern day sword? A gun. Yeah. So you have, you have uh, different ways that people can die, but there's actual spirits that we can't see, uh, you know, right behind in the, in, the, in the next dimension, so to speak, but they moving around in real time, causing, you know, people to uh, get into different type of accidents, causing people to, oh, they showed a, a perfect example was in um, uh, Boondocks. Yeah, that one episode with uh, Stink Meaner. Anybody's uh, seen that? Yeah, this uh, nigga Stink Meaner. But in the, in the show, they basically had a way he died and he came back. Like in these different movies, they're talking about ghosts. 
somebody to die and become a ghost and come back and earth and start fucking with people. Which that doesn't happen. Okay? When people when you die, your spirit goes back to the to the third heaven and you rest until it's time for you to be regenerated or reincarnated on the earth. But there's actual spirits that are assigned to, to just do missions all day. They don't come into the earth and live a life like a human and have to go through hell and whatnot. They just exact them just And those are what you, what you would call a demon, okay? Those are what you, what you would call an a, a angel, okay? They, they have the spirits on the right hand, which are all angels. You just have the right hand angels and the left hand angels. The right hand angels are helping us in this ministry, helping us to push the word, helping us to push the truth. The left hand uh, angels are there to deceive, okay? And, and uh, uh, you know, cause people to, to do wickedness so they can be judged. 31, Sirach 39, 31. It says, they, were, they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon the earth. When need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. It said, when need is. So there's a time for, for these spirits to really get active, so to speak. And that's the time we're living in right now. That's why you see all this judgment on the earth. That's why you see so much violence in the earth. That's why you see all these women murdering their children. Children murdering the parents. Yeah, one, uh, I just saw Jake. He, he uh, ran over his mom. Okay, because the mom was complaining he was playing music too loud. It was on their way to somewhere. And he wanted to turn the music down, so she got out the car, and then he ran off. Jake, that's Jake we're talking about. Jake ain't known for doing shit like that. But that just shows you that people are waxing worse. This, 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 the spirit in the earth is getting more demonic. Look at what they're doing with the children. Look at what's going on, you know, everywhere. Right. You know, this is uh, uh, Psalm 78, verse 43. How he had wrought the signs of Egypt and his wonders in the fields of Zone and had turned their rivers into blood and their floods that they could not drink. This is when um, the Heavenly Father was plaguing Egypt and sending the plagues on the Egyptians. That was when our people was in uh, captivity on the Pharaoh under the Egyptians. Right? It was in slavery. Verse 44. Verse 45. Sent divers sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs, which destroyed them. You can read about the plagues in, um, in Exodus. Verse 46. He gave also their increase unto the caliphate, and their labor unto the locusts, he said locusts. Right. Ate up all the food. Yep. Uh -huh. and when you go on YouTube and type in uh, locust outbreak or swarms of locusts, you will see different um, times in these last days where locusts ate up, a swarm of locusts ate up people's crops and the trees and the vegetation. You go on YouTube and type in river turns to blood, you will see, you know, a river that's red. I forgot which country it was. Yeah, I think it's Oh, God. I believe I saw a video that happened in uh, Jamaica. Not too long ago was uh, a locust outbreak in Las Vegas. A couple weeks ago. Verse 47, he destroyed their vines with hail. That's a vengeance, you know, the spirit created from vengeance is hell as well. And there's sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hell and their flocks to hot thunderbolts because the Lord, he set down fire mingled with hell upon the Egyptians, man. And upon the cattle. Verse 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Mm. There you go. 
up. Evil angels. So there's a such thing as evil angels. Okay, Esau has you to believe that angels are little white babies. Okay, but naked. Just floating around, playing the heart. No. Okay, the angels of Yahweh Basham Yahushai are fierce, are mighty, very cunning, very, very intelligent. Okay, and they're they're very eager to please Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Whatever order they're given, they do it without hesitation. As soon as they they give in the green light. Whether it's the to slay a, 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 a field of people, flip over a school bus full of children, okay? Raise up a, a demon, jump on somebody to just go on a rampage and, and shoot up a school or, or do any crazy wild thing. You had that one account in, um, what's that, Kings, where you had uh, Ahab, right? The king, and the Most High uh, sent a, a, a lion spirit in the mouth of one of his prophets to deceive him to go to war so that he could die in the war. The Most High does that all, all day, every day. Oh, what it says in Isaiah 45 and, and uh, what's that, Isaiah 45 and 17? Probably for sure. Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. You start at 6. No. Isaiah 45 and 6. Five. Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am the Lord Yahweh. There is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord Yahweh do all these things. Alright, so there you go. The Lord is uh, the, the, the master of it all. He's the, he's the master. He has all the control. Okay? Um, let me grab this and uh, I'll the song real quick. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Psalm 78. Finish it off. Um, lucky. Psalm 78. Verse 49. He passed upon them the fierceness of his anger and wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. And that's how the Lord, uh, you know, every morning do be bringing judgment to light. You know, the eyes of the Lord are his angels. Yahweh sits on the throne. Yahweh shall give the command to the angels. And there you go, judgment being played out on earth. Verse 50. He made a way to his anger, sparing not their soul from death gave their life over to the pestilence. See the pestilence. You know, so in these last days, you have different pestilences and diseases on the scene, different plagues. It's going to consume a lot of you people. That's how the Lord consumed and brought the pestilence and diseases to the ancient Egyptians. Verse 51, last verse. And smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength, in the tabernacles of Ham. Right? Because they're Hamites. Uh, the ancient Egyptians, they were Hamites, also. The Lord hates Ham. That's what it is. The Lord hates all the nations. Yep. Especially we saw Edom. The devil, the so called white man. And he hates two thirds of his own people here in America. And he hates the wicked of his people throughout the four corners of the earth. And the time that we're coming into is called Jacob's Trouble, which is a time like never before where the Lord is going to judge his people. He's going to judge the world, but he's going to really judge his people. He's going to cause this devil, Esau Eden, to come down uh, with great wrath. It's going to be. Many more uh, 
uh, pestilences, real pestilences. It's going to be martial laws out here. It's going to, uh, Esau's getting ready to crash the economy. Okay, it's going to be uh, blackouts, uh, no internet, and many of you are going to uh, perish. And then Esau's going to come with a solution, which is going to be that MOTV. And if you take that, we, you're going to be here with a missile. Because right after that, Esau, uh, the most high is going to cause these nations to go to World War III. And they're going to cancel each other out. And they're really going to uh, totally uh, destroy America, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Okay, that's it. Uh, uh, Matthew 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. We got people against people. The lower class, the lower class against the, 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 the rich, the rich against the poor. All right. Nations against nations. It's division. Alright? This house is a Bible. Ooh, Esau Edom. Okay? Also, the Lord came to what? To bring division. That's what you see in the earth. You got the Republicans against the Democrats. Okay? The two house parties. The Flavians and the Patricians. Okay, nothing doing the sun. I believe the Patricians are what, the Democrats? I believe the Flavians are the Democrats. The Flavians are the Democrats? The Flavians are the Democrats. You got people, you got our people saying what? They not. They don't want to be Democrat no more. They realizing being Democrat is not a good thing. So our people still lost. They confused. Which the which the, uh, the the president? He's just a puppet for the United States for the elite bankers. And, you know, just to say this, they, they, both sides is is off, right? But Jake is seeing that uh, the so-called Democrat Party has been just manipulating them the whole time yep. and pushing them further into into wickedness and slavery. Yep. You know? <laughs> and not just America is divided, right? Esau, the whole nation is divided because Esau uh, is ruling through the beast, not only the whore, which is Babylon, but through the beast as well, which is, you know, several uh, European so-called Edomite uh, nations, right? And they're divided. But then you also have Russia, which is uh, an Edomite nation as well, and they're, and they're uh, against the beast. So... Esau is just totally divided. And then you not to mention you have the small hatters, Amalek. They they hate all all the uh you know Esau. So they're just totally divided, man. Which there's no way uh, they're gonna stand. Mosai is raising up his people, uh Israel, closing the breaches thereof, as the scriptures say, uh unity. Okay, this is the, the real unity, this is the real congregation that the Most High is, is pleased with, okay? The house of David coming back. So this is Matthew 24, starting at three. So then he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall, these, when shall these things be? And when shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Yeah. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, but shall deceive many. And you shall hear, hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right, that's what you hear on the news and you read different articles about war, rumors of wars, hear about war talk. That's all you hear on the news. Because it's prophesying the scriptures for World War III to happen. That's why these different nations are meeting up in the Middle East. Okay. And also means for World War III. 
the meeting up in the Middle East in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It's prophesied in the scriptures. That's why the the, uh, the Euphrates River dried up. That's in the Re that's in the Book of Revelation. But I'll draw three right quick. <clears throat> Zero three and start at one. It says, "For behold, in those days and in that time." When that shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for, I will plead, I will, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Right, so the Lord, you know, he's you know, he's in control, man. Okay, causing the uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the river of Euphrates to dry up, watch he's preparing the battlefield. You know, for them, man. He's going to turn back the captivity of Jacob. Right, he's going to, you know, deliver us from our captivity. Okay, now it's going to captivity, but we're getting saved out of our, out of our captivity, man. Yep, yep. Okay, you know, and in the midst of them uh, battling, okay, how shots going to come back, man? Okay, and he's going to, the Lord's going to cause them to all fight him. All right, because um, the Lord is against you Russians as well. Right. In, in, in Isaiah 39, it's, it's prophesied for the for the uh, for the Russians to shoot missiles at America, and also for the Lord to destroy you Russians, you Edomites. Well, the, Ru the Russians they they have a, a huge army. And then you you got some war going on in Russia. I say they they just totally divided. All right, the Lord said, uh, you got it, brother. Got more? Got you. Well, I, do, I wanted to say, too, but it says that the Lord's going to turn back our captivity. That starts now. Yeah. Okay? The Lord's going to fully turn back our captivity uh, when Yahweh Shah returns and, and actually puts these, uh, physically puts these different nations under our feet. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it starts right now by way of this truth going out, being preached, and, and men's faith being uh, built up upon this this truth as Yahweh I said you shall know the truth and it shall make you the truth shall make you free okay so we're we're, we're free free in the mind free, free uh from from the the, the shackles of, of 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 Esau Edom through his, his media deception his lies okay we're we're, we're free from uh serving sin You got it, bro. Okay. So, 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 like this. So, at this time, so the, us uh, preaching this word, it's, it's fitting that we're prophesying for World War III to happen. Because it was said for, for us to get this truth right prior to World War III. Okay? okay? That's why you had World War I, World War II. And then, really, after World War II, that's when, uh, you know, this truth started to, to, to flourish. In between World War II and World War III. You got it, bro. Matthew 24 and 6. It says, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Alright. A lot of food shortages been taking place. A lot, a lot of a lot of food processing plants been caught on fire, man. Yep. Yeah. I right, wasn't it uh, like a hundred caught on fire last year. Yeah. That's all by well designed and planned. I don't forget about them cows that you saw them uh, blew up. Right. Why? Because he, he's a destroyer. He's the son of perdition. Everywhere he go, he destroys. He brings destruction. What of wickedness. What of wickedness, man. Everywhere he go, he brings what? Chaos, mayhem. He uses that sword, man. That's why the earth is polluted. You got it, bro. Last verse, it says, 
all, the, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, so, you know, what we're seeing now, okay, it's only the beginning, man. Okay, people think it's bad now, you know, just wait. It's only going to get increasingly worse and worse and worse. And as you see, you know, each year, each year that passes by, you know, things, things just get worse and worse, man. Why? Because the Lord is in the earth. The Lord is visiting in the earth, man. Okay, right. and the man of the Lord were prophesying against, okay, the, the, the wickedness that's going on, man. Uh, things getting uh, worse and worse because Esau is in rulership. He's becoming more wicked and more wicked and more wicked. Okay. He can't help but to be wicked. He was created like that. You got more? No, you got it. Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city. Kingdom against kingdom. Okay, so that's that's what's getting ready to go down. All right, mass division in the earth. Because that spirit is already here. And what uh, scripture tell you is that Sarah, well, not Sarah, second edges, was that uh, 15? Uh, sedition of men? Oh, yeah. This is the second edges 15, it started at 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw up nine. So you people shouldn't be happy and, and, and dancing and partying. You should be crying right now. You should be weeping. You should be mourning. If only you knew. <laughs> if only you people knew what was getting ready to go down. You would be mourning, putting sackcloth uh, on, putting ashes on your head. Facing the east. You know, fasting. Yep. Praying. If you really knew what was about to go down, that's why the Lord got the blinders on our people. That's why you look at Jack and you see them so spaced out. And you know, you got a bunch of NPCs walking around. Why is that? Because the Lord is, won't allow these people to, to get the truth, to see what's going on. Because if you saw what was going on, or, or what was about to go down, you would repent. Facts. There ain't no doubt about that. Any, any Jake knew what was getting ready to go down. I'm talking about Jake. Nah. Even even the heathens, if they knew they'll be trying to repent. But if, if, if Jake knew what was about to go down right now, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that there's uh, one Jake out there that wouldn't re repent. If they, if they knew what was going to start like right. tomorrow type shit. You know Jake. They want to see a sign. They want to see a sign. You know, show us a sign. Then we will believe. But blessed are those that have not seen, but yet yep. still believe. That's what Yahweh Shah quoted to uh, Thomas, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. But Thomas doubted that Yahweh Shah showed himself to the rest of his disciples. Man, Thomas was over 12. Yeah. Right. I just show, you know, we're in the flesh. Fine. Doubt tries to infect all of us. That's why we have to break the faith. Some 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 people call him doubting Thomas. You know? Like you read like the, the, the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's doubting that's Thomas. That's like a nickname of him. Yeah. One of the twelve. Yeah. King David number Israel. He sinned against the most high. Most of jacked them up. Let me show you we're in the flesh. You're not exempt from the judgment. Oh, oh, well, with mm -hmm. King David, the Most High puts uh, Satan on King David Come so that he can number Israel, <laughs> so that he can judge Israel. Really? Yeah, when, right. when, when, when you go into it, yeah. the Most High used Satan to, to use King David. Yeah. Okay? Because he wanted to judge Israel. He asked him what judgment you want. And and David said, all right, fuck up, fuck up Jake. Yeah. Which King David, you know, he, he, that didn't make him feel good. Because he's like, damn, it's my fault. But, you know, because King David loved his people. Yeah. But that just, that just shows you his ways are not our ways. <laughs> you know? That's why we have to, we have to uh, you know, move with fear. But I just show you, you know, the topic at hand, you know, the most I can send these send yeah. demons on, yeah, on people yeah. to to do things. Yep, yep. And, but it's for a higher purpose. You just see, you know, something happening. And, and and the angel that went to slay. So first the most I sent Satan on David.
to number Israel. Then after he did it, the most I sent a, a deaf angel yep, yep. To, to to judge Israel. Okay, and we and uh scripture say it was a, it was a plague. So he just had Jake just just dropping. Okay, so in the in the real world you just see Jake's dying, probably catching some type of disease, you know, but in and if you had spiritual eyes you would see it's an angel, you know, really slaying people. And it just manifests a, uh, a certain way. Right. So Isaiah 55, verse 8. Oh, uh, okay, grab that. Grab that, and then we're going to get that to uh, Isaiah 55, verse 8. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways, said Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Right. Uh, see, I said, as the heavens are higher than the earth, right? Yep. Esau said he went to the moon. That's bullshit. He never go to the moon. Why? Because there's something called the Van Ellis stuff. All right, something called the, the firmament. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't you can't pass through it. So basically, the Lord said it's a it's a certain level man's knowledge can go, and you can't go no further than that. So, it's, it's certain things that we shouldn't even try to, you know, think about too much. We just got to give it to the Lord and be like, well, it's the Lord's will. I just believe, as the scriptures say, that it's going to work out for my good. And I'm going to just wait and see, you know. But Esau, on the other hand, tries to figure out, just like David tried to number Israel. Esau wants to number everybody and find out how many uh, turns you drop in a, in a day. How yeah. many, uh, uh, you know, calories you take in every day? How many hours of sleep? They're collecting all this data information on you so they can feed it to the AI system so they can basically be mo be God on Earth, okay? Well, the most High is, is, is going to destroy all that. But um, going back to Second Ezra, okay, because we spoke about how, you know, you got these different divisions going on in the Earth. Okay, that was good stuff. Second Edith 15 and 15 says, For the sword and their destruction draw an eye, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. What's that? Civil war. You see that going on right now. Right. Even over there in Russia, you got the, the Wagner group, yeah. which is a pay, uh, you know, mercenary army, basically, try to uh, buck up against Putin. I believe they uh, so, uh, turn back now. But that just, hey, who knows? It could have been paid by NATO or something, CIA. Who, who, who knows? But that just that just goes to show you, man, that this this whole man system is going down. That's a surefire bet, because Yahweh I said he says that kingdom divided cannot stand. He saw he saw been divided. Says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. What's that talking about? Sedition among men and, and invading one another. You can break that up. Right. You know, your average day, your average day Joe. That's that was your homeboy. Okay, he's gonna be uh, coming up against you, man. And also, you're gonna they're, they're gonna be coming up against what their their presidents. Yeah. Okay, their, their senators, their high officials. Okay, because why? It's number one, a lack of bread. Okay, you know, and, and for survival, man. And, and they're going to feel played. Mm -hmm. They're going to feel lied to. Right. They're going to feel fucked over once they find out the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at what's going on right now with uh, people that took the juice. they angry, man, a lot of them, because they found out that shit was poison, man. But it's, it's too late now. Right. You know about the so-called white man's track record, though. Right. You you, you know he's a cancer in the earth. You know that. <laughs> but yet, you trust in this devil, Esau Edom. Time and time again, Jake is getting fucked over. You still it's trusting true. in oppression. Staying there on. Right. He says... Oh, so I wanted to say, uh, uh, yeah, this uh, basketball player played for Spain. Oh, you talking about? 
you know? He put out a message, uh, I think on Facebook, talking about how he took the jab and, and he got a heart attack and this and that. He said he was in perfect health. And then, and then right after that, he died. Yeah, he grew up here before he died, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he had a heart attack first time, I believe, but then he was good, you know. He wasn't good, but he was trying to recover. Then I believe he had another one and he died. The, the CEO for uh, P-H-I-Z-E-R, Pfizer, I'm going to say Pfizer, he didn't take it. He took the natural route, he, he said, rough and fair, but that's, on, that's actually documented, it's on YouTube. Right, he he could have just lied and said, I took it. The thing is, it's a lot of but the thing <laughs> with Isa, he keeps it up there on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like the uh the dude that was exposing how then uh the McDonald's meat got yeah. human flesh in it. Yeah. That's on YouTube. That's if you can find it. The, the, the TED talk with Bill Gates talking about how we the earth got so many people and we're gonna <laughs> yeah, use yeah. jabs to bring the population down. That's still on YouTube right now. Right now, bro. To this day. Right. <laughs> he saw it could have lied. Like the dude from from the P the P group. Yeah. They could he could have just lied and said, yeah, I took it. But he gon' he gonna keep it real, like, no, I ain't take that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Just so like like rub it in people's face. Like you, you dumbasses. But then that's that's combination to Jake. Like, that should tell you something, like, that should tell you everything you need to know. But dude, what's the number what's what, what's one of the uh the ten crack commandments? Never get high on your own supply, right? Mm -hmm. Every drug dealer know that. So what's the difference between these people that make uh, Esau drugs? Yeah. They don't take that shit because they know what's in that shit. Not just the drugs. He had um, the CEO of Pepsi. He said, I don't let any of my family members uh, drink any of our products. <laughs> they got all different type of, you know, the different juices and shit you buy. You got to read the label. A lot of them shit is owned by Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Right, right. Wait. Diet. The diet Cokes and the Diet Pepsi. It's worse than the regular Pepsi, yeah. Because the diet products use something called aspartame. Or phenylalanine. Yeah. Aspartame causes all different types of uh, migraines, headaches, uh, 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 dizziness, fatigue, all that. Break down the word diet. Die. <laughs> It's like it's literally it's all right there. Those Coke Zero products, they use alternative sugars and sweeteners. Yeah. Like sucralose, sucralose uh, destroys your gut biome. That's aspartame. Sucralose. A lot of people use Splenda in their coffee. Splenda, that's used for an embalming fluid. Wow. To embalm uh, bodies, man, dead bodies. You got something called MSG. That's a flavor enhancer. Monosodium glutamate. That's why certain foods be so good. They have drugs in it. Right. A lot of a lot of gum, salaki, brother. A lot of chewing gum contains aspartame, phenylalanine, or phenylalanine. You know, when, uh, in certain gums, it says contains phenylalanine. Call this number. Mm -hmm. So we eating poison. Yeah, oh, people, they so they sell on a low level. It's so stupid. Well, Jake don't even give a damn. You can tell Jake all these things. They still gonna eat this shit. They don't care. They don't care about their health. No. Jake is not health conscious. And if you are a Jake that's health conscious, you get shunned. You get shunned for being, uh, for not wanting to put bullshit into your body. Dr. Jake look Sebi. at you like, who you think you is? Dr. Right, right, Dr. Sebi. Or uh, uh, Lisa Left Eye. Uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez from the TLC. Yeah, Lisa had her killed. So she knew a lot of information, but I'm gonna leave it like, leave it at that. 
back in 2 Corinthians 15, and 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So it's going to get real cutthroat out here, man. It's going to get like the ancient world, times two. All right, what they say, good times make uh, weak men, weak men make hard times, hard times make strong men, strong men make good times. Right now, we're, we're uh, going out of the good times, which have created nothing but weak men, which are going to bring the bad times, which we're going into. We're going from good times to bad times, which that's what the word evil means, bad times. All right, so you have all these weak men out here, they're not going to survive, man. Once you get the real cutthroat niggas that's released from these different prisons, all right, you got these uh, mountain Edomites out there in the forest. Edomites, these different ex-marine type dudes, these militia group men. Even you got these jakes out here. You got a lot of jakes out here that's real mighty men out here. You know, that's probably bug the fuck out. Most of got spirits created for vengeance. You're going to have uh, the dude from Purge, Skeletor ass niggas. All right, and then you want the most of these weak men don't don't uh, never you know do never did no type of exercise or sit at home eat watch Netflix ass niggas simp ass niggas you niggas gonna die man quit it's gonna be uh, uh, dog eat dog the nigga see you with something and he want it and, and you gonna you gonna have to be uh, willing to fight for it. You, you got a uh, wife, you got children, you better, you better be able to fight for them. I'm talking to you niggas out there, because Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is going to keep his edge about uh, his prophets. Scripture say, uh, my servant shall eat. All right, Scripture say, uh, he that shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. No weapon that is formed against thee uh, shall prosper. Only with thy eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked. But you niggas, y'all, y'all, hey. You better be learning some jujitsu or something. You better be getting in the gym, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and I say that facetiously. You should be trying to repent. You should be trying to turn to your about to show y'all a shot. <laughs> All right? And that's the only way you're going to make it out. Because even if you're a hard body, you know, mighty man, your ass going to die too, eventually. Somebody, it's always uh, somebody more mighty than... And the next dude. Like a like food chain. <laughs> right. That one smart creature, the bigger one eat it, the bigger one eat it, you keep going down. And then not even to mention, it was more longer have robots out here. I seen a, the, uh, it was a drone, a drone uh, uh, with a robot dog attached to it with a fucking machine gun on it. The drone came and, and dropped, dropped the dog off. So you're wow. going to have, you're going to have a thousand drones <laughs> pull up. <laughs> Man. Pull up to the hood with robot and just drop yeah. robot dogs. Yeah. And Esau gonna be controlling that shit from from fucking a uh, thousand miles away. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and that that's, that's and then whoever's left, Esau just gonna come and wipe them up. They got uh they got uh the robot dog with, with a flamethrower attached to that shit. Imagine a hundred of them shits walk down the block, just setting every fucking thing on fire. <laughs> That's the type of shit that's getting ready to go down, man. Hey, this ain't no fucking joke. Nah. This ain't no game, man. They got this shit. That's right. That's right. I guess, I guess go ahead. Oh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> this is 1 Peter 4 and 17. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Yep. So, so. Hey, a lot of these things are going to happen to the Israelites out there because we know Esau has a list of people he wants to get rid of first. He wants to get rid of uh, the majority of the people on earth. That's what, uh, uh, what's that shit? Georgia Guidestones. All right, maintain population under 500 million. But he he, he understands that that's going to, that, that, that takes time. You ain't just going to wipe out 7 billion people off the earth quickly. Okay, but there's a list of people, a, a group of people, spirits. It's a it's a group of people that Esau say we got to get rid of these people uh, immediately. And if you're an Israelite, you on that list. 
This is how um, Haman wanted to destroy Mordecai and his people, the Jews. All right, Haman, he was a he was an Edomite. Okay, Amalekite at that. But he was in the position of what? Authority. Of authority. Yeah. He was second proud. in command, right? He was like second in command. He was very proud. And he ain't like the fact that Mordecai did not bow down to him. Okay? Just one Jake. One Jake. One Jake, yep. You see that? And what? He's wroth. He's angry. That's his nature. He's very angry. Accept my policies. I'm going to force it to you. You better accept it. Well, he was, it was another hand salon. It was another name. Really? He saw a, a dragon, right? Yep, yep. Leviathan. Leviathan. He's an angry, he's an angry beast. Mm -hmm. And what you got, he says his policy was they have what? Draconian. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, draconian laws. Mm -hmm. Draconian uh, punishment that's coming on the earth. Right. Right. So, so <clears throat> the Lord has a remnant that's not going to bow the knee to this man. Okay, yeah, we we in this man's uh, system, but spiritually we uh we locked in through the spirit. Okay, our minds are free, like the brother was saying. We're not we're not joining hands with the wicked. And we are gonna fully have to do that when we start implement this yeah. this MOTB system fully. Yep. Okay, we really gonna have to trust in the Lord because once that happens. If you're not with it, what the scriptures say, uh, he's going to cause it. If you don't want to get it, you're going to get killed. Right. So Esau's going to have it to where he's going to bring back uh, seminary execution. He's going to bring back uh, laws on the books to where, uh, you know, like firing squads type shit. Like yep. quick guillotine, which we know is guillotine is going to be one of the main ways because it's prophesied in the scriptures. All right. So we're gonna have to uh, be fully tuned in with y'all about showing y'all shine in, in, in that day. Right. right. That's what we need. Uh, Lord said, Isaiah uh, 59, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against them. The standard is gonna consist of angels, as Daniel 12 and 1 says, Michael's gonna stand up for the children of, of thy people. All those that be written in the book, the elect, okay? You're gonna have uh, spiritual power, as the scriptures say. The Most High is gonna, uh, you know, raise up his men. They're gonna be my battle axe and weapons of war. Okay, the Lord also said, uh, he that uh, waited upon the Lord shall uh, lift up uh, with wings as eagles, if you paraphrase Because that word standard means what? To take flight. Or to put to flight. To cause to disappear. You know. Mm -hmm. I got Esther 3 verse 4. Now it came to pass. You got something, brother? Oh, yeah. Esther 3 verse 4. Now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see where the Mordecai matters would stand. <coughs> for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. And he thought, scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, you see, the nature of Esau. He don't, he, he don't get what he wants, he's going he gonna to become carnal. He's going to become carnal. He's going to lay hands on you. You see, a violent man in the earth. Love to shed blood. Carnal, carnal, man. He uses his sword. You see? If he don't get what he wants, he's going to take it by force. Yes. All right? It says, well, it's good to say somebody mm -hmm. and take them. That's right, brother. For well, they had shown him the people of Mordecai were for him and sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. That's the point, man. So because one Jake then bowed out to him, he started to kill the whole nation. That's how Esau gets down, which, you 
you know, I speak as a man, but the only reason he would do something like that is if he had knowledge of, of who Israel was. You're going to just try to destroy a whole nation just because one Jay can't bow down. No, you already ain't like that nation. <laughs> you already you already had, uh, you know, which I uh, believe uh, Haman, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he a descendant of, or maybe I'm getting confused, wasn't he a descendant of, of Haggai? Haggai, hey, yeah. Alright, huh. so so he, he he understood he he knew the history. Right. He knew he, he knew he was an Edomite and he knew we were the Israelites. He knew right. we were enemies. Right, you know there's nothing new under the sun, so he was second in command, so he right. he wasn't no low level Edomite. He was he was a high level Edomite. Right. He was he was he basically one of the elites. Mm -hmm. You know, we know brothers joking around that could be very well be vocab Malone. Okay, Malone could be a uh, damn descendant of uh, uh, one of these elites. Who knows? Right, 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 right. You could uh, go back to one of these, these families who got him on a mission to, you know, because it's obviously personal. Yeah, it's personal, bro. It's obviously personal. Right? The way hey, man, that was personal. So just like now today, these elites, they, they, they have a personal vendetta against Israel. Yep. But really, that's the spirit of the Lord putting that vendetta in Esau so that he could judge Israel because most I really got a vendetta with Israel. Yep. You finish with that? I'll be You finish that, uh, uh, Peter, right? Nah, I won't do Okay. What? Yeah, yeah, finish, finish that name. you give it to Back in 1 Peter 4, uh, I'm going to read 17 again. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and it first begin at us, which shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High. That's, so, Jake, that don't want to repent, what you think going to happen to them? They're going to be out there, man. I'll be going through my daily life just looking at Jake and just be thinking, what your ass going to do when I'm here, Brady? You're going to burn the fuck out. <laughs> you know? I'll be looking at little kids and shit. I'm like, man, these little niggas gonna die. You know, we preparing our minds for, for this, because we're gonna see it. And it's fitting. It's, 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 it's necessary, man. These, Jake is in their worst condition ever. Even Jake in the world can see that our people are destroyed, man. You look on some of these shorts, these YouTube shorts, and you just see the nigga woman acting crazy. Pookie and Riri acting crazy. You go to the comment section and you got a bunch of Jake saying, yeah, black people are destroyed. Our community is destroyed. We have no culture. This and that. Well, the scriptures been told you that. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. The Israelites been telling you that for decades. Yet you still don't want to repent. Well, the most High just going to destroy it. First Peter 4 and 18, it says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, or shall the ungodly and, and the sinner appear? But for let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well doing as unto a faithful Creator. All right, so you got it, brother. You about to say it? No, no, no. It's it, it gonna, it gonna seem like the righteous not gonna be saved, but they're gonna be saved. Scarcely, especially when uh, the Muslim missiles. Hit America, then uh, the elect will, you know, go into those chambers, the chariots. It's gonna happen so fast, you know. So, in the, like the brother said, in twinkling of an eye. So, where, where would the the, the ungodly and the sinner? Right, come on. Revelation eleven say the remnant were frightened. Yeah, yeah. Why were they frightened? Yeah. This is the most high movie, right? Right, right. Come on, come on. You got that shit, brother? Not another preset. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got something, but you got it. On Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day coming, that shall break as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that the wicked shall be stubble. And all proud. that. All the proud. There's a lot of proud people in the earth. Proud. For, 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 for what? Lord woke you up this morning. The Lord is making you breathe. Okay. Yeah. It 
says, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts. And the scripture says in Proverbs 6 that the Lord hates a proud look, a lion tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. Come on, man. You got it, bro. So, what is this talking about, you Christians? What is this, what is this fire? If you Christians say that if you don't accept Jesus, you go to another dimension somewhere and you burn forever. <laughs> you go to hell, which is all, I guess it's other dimension, right? Because we you can't I know you can't dig there, right? Which actually hell is talking about the grave, it's actually talking about digging into the ground. Right, 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 right. But this is talking about a day where the earth is gonna burn. Like the oven. All the proud, all that will do wickedly. So it's going to be a, a day where people on the earth are going to burn. This ain't in no other place, man. You go where you die. This is talking about on the earth. Real life. This is talking about, um, let me grab this. Isaiah. And, uh, um, so too, we can grab Isaiah 66 and 16. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So it's talking about a war that's coming, which is, is, is going to be a unconventional war. It's not going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, guns, shooting. It's going to start off like that, but it's going to uh, escalate to a nuclear war. Fuel of fire. That's going to be that fire that's going to burn people up. This is going to happen with the spirit. They got this movie out, Oppenheimer, coming out. Going into the creation of the nuclear missiles. Why that's coming out now? Right. And then you got people uh, saying that you got a bunch of people coming out of the movie theater speechless. Because they know in their spirit that this is going to be the end. This is this is that's going to be the way the end is going to come. It's like the Lord is constantly showing people, especially our people, what He's about to do. Have they not heard? They heard the gospel. A part of the gospel that we teach and preach is what America's going to get destroyed by nuclear missiles. America's Babylon the Great. And he saw, he saw the so-called white man and he's gonna come out of power. That's how you know that a prophet was among them. Yep. Alright, so everything like these things come to pass. Alright, so everything's like it's, it's lining up with the scriptures, like, you know. That prophecy has to be fulfilled, uh, what? What you just quoted. Right. And then they shall know. Right. So they got to be blinded. It's called. Right. Law, you know. Uh -huh. Talk shit. I'm, uh, you know. Close themselves out into not believing. Yep. Keep going on with they, they folly and bullshit. Mm -hmm. But I just keep say, uh, uh, the uh, unbelief make the, the, the power of the most unaffected of the current framework. All they that uh, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So they're gonna see these things come to pass. Yeah. They're not gonna be mindful of the scourge, you see. Yeah. So it's gonna have to take the whole, the whole, uh, you know, of Jacob's trouble. What the Lord got going on? Yeah. The Lord really gotta break Jake down all the way, and then. It's, it's going to be too late still. Isaiah 66. Sorry? Isaiah 66. Oh, okay. It's Isaiah 66 and uh, 15. It says, For behold, the Lord Jehovah will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, surrender his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword, the Lord Yahweh flee with all flesh, and the, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. They that sanctify themselves. Right, so, so the Lord is coming with his chariots. We're talking about the so-called UFOs, which that's been all over the news right now. Okay, 
And you do know also, we're not ignorant of saying, the vice that Esau has an agenda for, for people to believe in aliens and shit. Okay? You got a lot of these, these uh, UFO videos. It, it's Esau uh, testing out his project Blue Bean, too. <clears throat> yep. Okay? But we know there's going to be an actual real invasion, which is going to be of uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels. That's going to be the real invasion. Now, is Esau going to do a fake invasion? We're we going to see because you, uh, you got that on the books. <laughs> this man is the devil. And he has it written out before he do it. Yeah. Then you have these different whistleblowers that expose the plan, uh -huh. and and he still do it, still and, do and, it. And, and the majority of people still fall for it, like like fucking idiots. The uh, fucking submarine, it was in the Simpsons. The submarine that just uh, I guess sank. That episode was in the Simpsons. It was, uh, it's called Titanic. <laughs> Going to see the Titanic. Done. They supposed to be controlling this shit with a with an Xbox controller, bro. Come on, bro. Is that a distraction? <laughs> Could be. Did it, it really happen? Definitely a distraction. It went, it went, it's like whether it happened or not. Right, right. It, it, they definitely used it uh -huh. to distract. And it worked. It slapped when the Chris uh was supposed <laughs> to slap uh Chris Rod. That could be a deep fake. Right, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> it could have been like an edit. You know, you slap them. It's, it's so many different. Nevertheless, it's all distractions, man. Bread and circuits, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Esau, we say, not only us, but the Bible say that Esau is the devil, the accuser, the deceiver, man. He used deception. Satan, he's, he's the adversary. Right. They, they, so long, they do rituals. Mm -hmm. You got different people saying that the whole thing was a ritual. Okay? Because on the original Titanic, he saw, he saw blew that shit up. Okay? First of all, that shit ain't straight no iceberg and shit like they show you in the movie. Okay? You had three billionaires at that time on the ship that were opposed to uh, the Federal Reserve Bank. Yep. Okay, and um, they were they were gonna you know oppose. They Esau Esau got him out of there. Those those three individuals. And then right after that, that's when he moved with his uh, uh his Federal Reserve banking. So is that a sign for Esau getting ready to change the money system again? Then no. <laughs> that's supposed to be starting in what July? July first. So this. Submarine well, thing like, what's, that's what two or three days from now. Yeah, I mean, which, like the brother said, it's perfect timing. My girl was just telling me that her mom told her that some Jake was just telling her, like one of her friends or something, said, they finna get rid of all the money on July 1st. <laughs> they get rid of all the money. Hey, come, come, but we just start with the posture going down. We've been telling you, goofies. Goofy ass. We've been telling you people that the so-called white man is going to come down having great wrath, man. Just like you did during the time of the Maccabees, when our people fled to the mountains, but they didn't want to fight on the Sabbath day. I got that account, if I may. First Maccabees, chapter 2. Verse 27. And Mattathias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law and maintains the covenant, let him follow me. During this time, you had the Greeks ruling. Okay. You had the Greeks ruling, man. And they were Edomites. The wicked. Okay. And they was uh, persecuting the Israelites. And also during that time, you had our people becoming like the heathen. They was being Hellenized. All right? Conforming to the heathen way. Okay? When you read the chapter, verse 28, 
So he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that ever they had in the city. Then many that saw after justice and judgment went down into the wilderness to dwell there, both they and their children and their wives and their cattle, because afflictions increased sore upon them. See that? Afflictions increased sore upon them. Who? The Jews, the Israelites, man. The people of the Lord. We always been through hell and went through hell. There's nothing new in the sun. Verse 31. Now when it was told the king's servants and the host that was at Jerusalem in the, in the city of David that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were gone down into the secret places in the wilderness and pursue after them a great number they pursue and chase remember how the um the pharaoh and his army chased the israelites wanted to destroy us why these people always want us to destroy these people on the side you so-called negroes latinos and america and native americans why do the heathens constantly want to destroy us because we're god's chosen people They pursue after them a great number, and having overtaken them, they camped against them and made war against them on the Sabbath day. And they said unto them, Let that which ye have done hitherto suffice. Come forth and do according to the commandment of the king, and ye shall live. Meaning what? Transgress. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do according to the commandment of the king so you can live. I'm gonna, they're gonna bribe you with this with the sea hip. You wanna eat, you wanna drink, you wanna operate in society? Well, this is what you need to do. Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. Verse 33, verse 34. But they said we will not come for it. Neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the Sabbath day. That sounds like a shot rat, we shot in the Bendigo, not wanting to bow to the image that Nebuchadnezzar had uh, created. It says, uh, verse 35, so then they gave them the battle with all speed. Howbeit they answered them not, neither cast they a stone at them, nor stopped the places where they lay hid, but said, Let us die in all in our innocency. Heaven and earth will testify for us that ye put us to death wrongfully. So they arose up against them in battle on the Sabbath, and they slew them with their wives and their children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people. He said, I don't care if you're a child, if you're a woman. No. He hates the people of the most side, which consists of the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. And we have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You got it, bro. Don't forget what, what Amalek did. I mean, he was even out of uh, uh, Egypt, man. Right? Where he killed, what, the young? Okay, the old, the, elder, the elderly. Okay. I guess he don't like this, man. You know? You know, there's nothing, there's no, nothing new under the sun. Okay, now you saw it's gonna come, you know, with his uh, draconian measures. Okay, it's uh, extremely harsh and severe measures. Okay, against, you know, these people, man. Okay, but, you know, and once again, the elect, they're not gonna bow down to that, to his, to his image, okay? To his way of life, okay? Right, right, right. You know, the, the system, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to read Revelation 14. His, his image is talking about his, the system. Mm -hmm. All right. We're, 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 we're in this man's system, but spiritually, we're not in this man's system. Right. If I want to read Revelation 15, then I'll read 14. It's Revelation 15, it start at 1. It says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, 
for them is for up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw, as it were, a, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And, lay, and them that had the, gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. Right, so the elect, okay, they're going to be watching the destruction of America because, you know, they, they have gotten a victory over, over the system, and over his image, okay? You know, they didn't take the MOTB, they wasn't down for, you know, Esau's, you know, wicked way of life, okay? They wasn't down for it, man. You know, they ain't submit, okay? And, and I'm going to read the third verse, it says, And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Lord, power almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of the saints. You can find that song in uh, Exodus, the song of Moses in uh, Exodus uh, 15 chapter. Right. And who was singing the song of Moses? The Israelites. That's right. Salvation is only for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. The name of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is dreadful among the heathen. Right. They the, the the JJs, the small hats claiming to be us, but they calling upon Yahweh or another false idol. They call on Yeshua or whatnot. Mm -hmm. They're not calling on Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. You see? They're not the people of the most high. But when the Lord put his people, in, his true people in the land, it's going to be no more war. And plus it's prophesied, it's prophesied in the scriptures for Israel to, to be burnt up by fire. When you elite bankers, you're going to go into slavery. to the tune of prophecy. Uh, this is Revelation 14 and uh, start at 8. It says, And they are fallen at the angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And Babylon is, is American, man. Okay, and you know, these nations basically got influenced by America, man. They have drunk of that wine. You know, America's, you know, their philosophies. Okay, it says, so it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right. Mark going to Karabim. Mm -hmm. uh, incision. Right. Right. They're gonna put something in you. And that's the sea hip. Mm -hmm. Mark Mark in the Greek goes back to Karagma. Okay? So that's his plan. That's what he that's what he wants to do. Right. He's trying to put his stamp, his mark on you. He wants your soul. And if you take it, okay, you know, and you're gonna put a full force, you know, of the missiles, man. Okay, because you basically sided with, you know, Esau. Okay, you chose your side. You know, talking about you so called black side and Native Americans, man. Right. You got more? No. Yeah. Um, so the devil coming down with great wrath. That's brought out the count in the first Maccabees, okay? Um, I want to bring out this one scripture. This is, uh, Um, 
know, during the time of acts, man, persecution. During the time of, uh, uh, you know, us. During the time of Maccabees, persecution. Many accounts dealing with persecution in scripture. So there's nothing new under the sun. So this so-called white man gonna come down having great wrath. To persecute who? The Israelites. And people in general, but mainly God's chosen people. Um, this Mark, no, this Acts. Acts chapter. I'm gonna just skip that. You got the bag up? Back? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go to uh second Corinthians twelve verse ten. Therefore I put pleasure in pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for my shiach's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So right. Paul said, I take pleasure in my infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecution and distresses for Amashiach's sake. For whose sake? For Amashiach's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Okay? Because going through uh, different persecutions and afflictions, it makes your character stronger. Okay? You get to fight the good fight. You get to endure those trials to become a what? A better man. A better servant in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yahweh Bashina Shah is helping you along the way. Going through different trials, infirmities. It's going to make your character strong. To withstand, especially that evil day. Jacob's trouble. You know? So, you know, if we come to serve Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we have to prepare our soul for temptation. It's gonna go, you're gonna go through it. The second is five and one. I mean Romans five and one. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the most high through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given to us, unto us. Okay? So when we go through things, we understand that it's to build up our character, as the book said. Okay, through tribulations, okay, work in patience, and patience, uh, hope. All right, and when you have hope, you, you're not ashamed because you you can you have uh, proof that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is with you. Uh, all the proof that you need to keep pushing to the end. All right, which we understand that the the, the real time of uh, the real time of tribulation is at hand. The real time of trial, so to speak. But you're going to need all the faith you, you, you can get. You're going to need all of the uh, long suffering you can get. You're going to need all of the fruits of the Spirit. Yep. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. It's the Heavenly Father. Well, this is Yahweh Shah speaking to Ananias, the prophet. Okay. Concerning Paul. Well, concerning Saul, who turned his name unto to, to Paul. Okay. How Paul was going to suffer for he was a chosen vessel. He was going to suffer 
doing the work of the Lord. When you read the Acts, the different accounts, Paul went through it. Paul went through different trials and tribulations, being stoned, being beaten, 40 stripes saved one, shipwreck, what he said, through all those things the Lord delivered him, and that, that they gave him uh, lessons, and all those different trials and tribulations that Paul was going through, he was being built up. His faith was being built up. He was learning different things about himself. He was learning different things about the Lord. Okay? And we all have our own uh, trials and tribulations where you learn more about yourself. You learn your weaknesses. You learn your strengths. You learn your character. You learn things you need to work on. All these things are, 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 are uh, chances for the Lord to show his grace. And these things also, you know, build up your faith, knowing that, okay, if the Lord brought me through all these things, He can bring me through anything. Whatever else that I have to go through on my walk, I know the Lord's going to get me through that. All right, He that begin this good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah. Okay, what's that, uh, Hebrews? So Hebrews uh, 12. Alright. Right. Yeah, Hebrews 12 and uh, 1. Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about with uh, so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience unto the race that is set before us. Okay, what's the race? We, 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 is, is this truth? This walk is, is, is our race. We, we, we're we're uh, competing. We're racing for our for our lives, so to speak. It's, it's a it's a it's a sport kind of, which we have to active uh, be active. We have to put in effort, but it's it's not a game. You know, it's not a joke. It's, it's, it's deadly serious. We're running for our lives. We're running for a chance to to be uh, delivered from the coming destruction. And also a chance at ruling and righteousness with our Lord the Savior Yahweh Shai for all eternity. Which is something definitely to, to, to fight for, something definitely to run for. All men that compete in a, in a, a sporting event, they, they have a, the prize on their mind. They're not doing it just to do it. They, they're doing it to win. They're doing it to obtain the victory. Okay, to say that they did it. Okay. First and foremost, just to say you did it. And then whatever prize or reward comes comes with it. Okay. Verse 2, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Before, okay, so he's the author and finisher of our faith. With the word author means an originator, a pioneer. Which Yahweh Shai is also called what? The forerunner. Okay, so we're running together, but he, he already finished the course. He basically uh, burned all of us, so to speak, in the race. He got there, he, he got there first. Now, now we're running and we, we believe that we can do it because he did it. You know, like an obstacle course or whatnot, or, or because it's really this truth is not a, a sprint. Because we're not trying to burn ourselves out. We're not really running as fast as we can. At least not right now. Okay, we're, we're running with good pace, so to speak. We're running uh, not to burn ourselves out, but to keep a good pace because this is a marathon. This is an endurance race. Okay, y'all was trying to say, he that uh, endureth unto the end. Not uh, whoever gets to the end the fastest, you know? Right, right, right. So we're, we're running and we each have our own course. We each have our own, um, you know, we're not all running the same exact race because we, we all have our own stories. Some of us going to have to get in the guillotine. Some of us going to make it all the way to the day of Yahweh Shai return. You know, some brothers going to, uh, uh, you know, have spiritual power. 
Some brothers uh, may not. Some brothers may have an angel guide in them, you know? But the point is, in, enduring all the way to the end, keeping your faith through it all. Okay? It says, looking up to Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him. So Yahweh Shai had a prize in mind. He wasn't just doing it, you know, because we know he didn't want to go on the cross, right? He prayed three times to the Father to, you know, if it be any other cup, any other way, let it, let it, let this cup pass from me. But what it says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. So in spite of all what Yahweh Shai had to go through, he did it anyway. Why? For the joy that was set before him. What's the joy that's going to be set before him? The kingdom. You know, first him receiving his praise and glory and honor and reverence in the, in the heavens. Then for him to come down to earth and receive his, his reverence. And receive his kingdom, his earth. Receive his brothers. Receive the sisters, you know, having the whole nation ruling together in righteousness, at peace. Actually being able, being able to enjoy the earth. Who endured the, uh, who, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Key words, endured. Hmm. That's key words. When you read about the afflictions, Yahweh Shai face, you'd be like, wow. But he did that with the Most High sitting on the cross. Made to be sin who knew no sin. For us, the hopeful elect. That was a appeasing sacrifice for the most high to bruise our side, to put him on the cross. For the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. But ultimately, all Israel will be saved. And the kingdom. And the kingdom. So all Israel is going to be able to enjoy the, the, the kingdom. So Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he died for the two thirds too. He died for the whole, he died for the whole nation. Yep. Okay. Um, verse three, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. See that? Read again, brother. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest he be wearied and faint in your mind. Read again. Hebrews uh, 12 and 3. For consider him that endured such. Consider him. Who? Yahweh Shai. Who endured such. You can read those accounts in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, also the different prophets. In the Old Testament spoke on Yahweh Shai and how he's going to be bruised. Isaiah 53, different prophets spoke on our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Consider him. Let she be weird in your mind. Read, brother. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Right, because it was coming up against Yahweh Shai, constantly. You did have believers that believed in Yahweh Shai, and you had unbelievers that did not believe in Yahweh Shai. Sought to kill him. Sought to kill him, sought to stone him, sought to throw him off of what, a cliff? Yep. Sought to uh, destroy him. Uh, come up with different, uh, you know, schemes and plots. Right. Say he, uh, let's say he said he did this to get him cased up. Right, right, right. They slander his name. Okay. Bearing false witness against yeah. Yahweh Shai. Spreading rumors about him. They're spreading rumors, been a tell bearer, been a whisperer. We don't supposed to operate like that. The world operate like that. This truth is supposed to change our minds for the better. It's a constant fight too. 
time to fight, but we have to consider what Yahawashah went through, man. Believe in what the word say. Yahawashah says, surely you're going to drink up the cup. You want to be joint heirs with him, right? Well, you're going to have to suffer for my name's sake. Count the cost. That's why, you know, through the spirit, we know why we in this thing. We in this thing for salvation, you know? We want to be saved. We have a lot of people that don't know why they in this in this Israelite thing, man. They in it just, to, just for, for women or for vain glory. But if you're really sincere, you're going to be in this thing for what? For, for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and to receive salvation. To be covered. Because you know the different prophecies and you know that the so-called white man and these heathen nations are going to come down having great wrath, especially the so-called white men. And we know the prophecies. We know America is going to be destroyed. So our conversation, our behavior should be doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. You got more Hebrews? Um, I don't know if it's but I'm just looking for something. Uh, I read this. This is First Peter chapter 4 and verse 12. For love, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. A fiery trial happens to all the believers. So don't think it's strange when a fiery trial creep up upon you. That's what the scriptures say. Don't think it's strange. You gotta understand. The Lord giveth, he taketh away. He wounded and he healeth. Blessed be the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. When you read about Job, Joseph. Joseph was put into prison. She lied but Potiphar's wife lied on Joseph. Joseph wasn't simping. He had integrity. You see? Hananiah, Mishael, uh, Mishael and Azariah was put in uh, the fiery furnace. Praising Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Come on, man. It was put in the furnace because they didn't bow down to Nebuchadnezzar's image, the statue. So what was, what was being displayed? Integrity. That's something that we should be trying to obtain too. Integrity. Right. The integrity, they, they, they show it was, uh, what's the word, integral which is the root of integrity means to hold, be whole. Okay, so as the scriptures say, they, they didn't know, they knew the Lord had the power to deliver them from the furnace, but they didn't know that the Lord was going to. So they said, if the Lord deliver us, we ain't, we ain't gonna bow down, and if he don't deliver us, we still not gonna bow down. That's integrity. Mm -hmm. Knowing, okay, the Lord give, he take it away, if I die, we die to the Lord. We live, we live unto the Lord. Either way, it's for the Lord. That's, that's how the mentality of your elect going to have. It's okay, they put your head in the guillotine. All right, well, I'm going to see my Lord. I'm finishing my course. You know, shit, if I don't eat for the water, shit, I don't eat. The Lord will feed me. All right. Uh, first Peter 4 and... and uh, 13. All right. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be also revealed, I mean, you may be also with exceeding joy. <laughs> so we part, we're part, we partakers in the sufferings of Yahweh Hamashiach. Right. That's a sign that we're we're his friends. Yep. We're sign, that's a sign that we're on the same boat with y'all was like. If the world hated me, just know it hated me before it hated you. If the world hated you, know it hated me before it hated you. 
we're, we're hated because we're in the truth. We suffer because we're in the truth. So that means when your whole side uh, gives glory, we're going to get glory. Sure. <laughs> Simple. You know, the Romans 8, the joint air is bubble for sure. Romans 8 and uh, 17. And also the 16. Uh, the spirit of itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. Right. So, if we endure to the end, we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Right, because going back to the law of the firstborn, when you had a firstborn son, he would get the, the, the inheritance from the father. He would get the the most, so to speak. Oh, he would get everything that the father had. You know, uh, uh, when, the, when the father passed on, the, the firstborn son get everything. But, and, and, and the, the firstborn son didn't have to share. If he didn't want to, he didn't have to share. Right. You know, but Yahweh Shai being such a... Uh, a loving brother. He loves his, his brother so much he gonna share he gonna share everything he have with us. Yep. Lord willing we be we be those first fruits. Um and if children then heirs, heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right, because what we're going through is really a light affliction. We really deserve the worst. We really deserve death. The wages of sin is death. Okay, but his gift is what? Eternal life. The Lord love, we love him because he loved us first. Right. Yahweh Baha Shem really loves his people, starting with the elect. That's our expectation to be of that number, but well, that's our hope. We don't know for sure, but we're hoping, we're, we're hoping that. We're hoping in his mercy. Well, if hope goes to expectation. We expect Yahweh to Yahweh Shai to have mercy upon us. Because we are sinners and we acknowledge that. We're not saying we're perfect. No, we acknowledge we're sinners. We're filthy. We need your help. We evil. We're worms, man. You see a worm on the ground moving, you can just step on it. That worm can't run and go away or or, or just get up and walk. We're sheep among wolves, man. The, the, the sun, the sun could burn a, a worm up. Yep. <laughs> That's right, brother. Okay. We need bodies. We need we need we need new bodies, of course. This body is subject to sin. We do things that we don't want to do. We don't want to do things that we do do. It's a lot if I said it wrong. No, no, you, you said it right. Yeah, we 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 uh we do things that we don't want to do and we, we don't do things that we want to do. Paul, Paul said that. Paul was going through that. That's just, Paul. just to remind us, we are in the flesh. We go off. We need a physician. We need a house shot. That's so, why he came. So the, the law don't justify us. That's, that's, why, that's what his sacrifice was all about. That's why he had to come 2,000 years ago. So that the sacrifice would already be prepared for when we come into these times right that's right right and it, it, it's Yahweh Shai is spoken in the Old Testament too right multiple accounts multiple scriptures it's a lot of scriptures man that <laughs> even in Psalms oh, all throughout Shai. the Psalms right Isaiah spoke of Yahweh Shai Jeremiah Moses Ezra. Ezra. Ezra mentioned him by name. Come. And and the time when he was gonna come. 
Right, right. What's that? Isaiah 47? He would not meet thee as a man. Yeah. Talk about Yahweh Shai. He's coming back with full power. Like a lion, ready to devour. He's also coming ready to save too. That's why the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. We living in, we're living, the Bible's been, you know, we're living in the Bible. Yeah. This is this is basically the movie to the book. You know how they they write they they write a book mm -hmm. like Harry Potter or some shit. Then the book can get famous. Then they, they make a movie about it. Yep. You know, this is the script. This we're just we're just living this book being played out right. because the word is coming before the foundation of the world, right? Yep. So first, this this they'll say, oh, this is man book. This was made. This really this book is from everlasting. Yeah. Really, this book was first before the world was right. it was invented. Because right. Yahweh Shai is the word. Yahweh Shai is the volume of the book. Right. Yahweh Shai created the earth. It was through this word that this that this world was even made manifest right. to fulfill what's all, what already written right. in the heavens. Right. Hey, Esau got power, but not power like that. Why? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Why, why he didn't destroy all the Bibles? You see? Right. Right. The Lord left the record. The comforter so that we can read it, understand it, you know, and be comforted by it, teach it, preach it, feed the sheep. And, and Salakia, mm -hmm. not only the, the, the Bible, because this couldn't happen, well, the Lord may had this happen really through the internet. Was because you could have all the Bibles you want if you don't have the interpretation. Right, right, you don't right, got right. the breakdown, you don't have the breakdown. Mm -hmm. See, Esau tried to use the scriptures against us. With a, with a false breakdown but we got the true breakdown yeah. why because because the most high sent eyes prophets and he raised up the internet and had put this word throughout the internet see esau they created the internet right as a way of controlling information because before you had the internet you had books you know you had uh you know scrolls and whatnot so Esau can't control information. If you, if you, if I write a book and I, a book got high level information, I can hide the book somewhere. Esau don't know about it. Mm -hmm. I can spread it around, reprint. People, Esau don't know. But if you put all the information on the internet, Esau can control it easy. If I Esau do away with books and just put e-books, well, he can delete whatever he wants, right. change books, right. whatever. Right. That's what. That's why the internet was created to control media but really it fucked them <laughs> yeah it exposes <laughs> well. Esau basically tried to go into a room and, and, and flip the light switch on right. and run <laughs> run to the other side of the room before the, the light hit, hit the wall yep. you you opened up a, a, a can of worms which which the scripture say your tongue gonna fall upon yourself right right like like uh like uh who uh like um what's that dude name uh bill gates on ted talk yep yep talking about you got it nah um about the, the, the population yeah 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 right yeah. made something fall apart so <laughs> it's on ted talk it's on ted talk people look it up it's on ted talk and the people in there were just clapping and so either right. they was insiders or they just they just bugged the fuck out. Bugged out. You know, Esau, the most I gave Esau some power, but the most I got all the power. He's on the pope. Okay. Just how you had Pharaoh's musicians performing some yeah. signs on the left hand side, but it was some signs that they couldn't do. Yeah. Okay. Once again, the Lord controls the right hand side and the left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the power that the Most High did give Esau, he, it bugged him out. Come on. <laughs> the power, which is going to say, that thy pride has deceived thee. Oh, that door that's in the cliffs of the rock. You think you can fight the Most High now? You think you're going to upset prophecy? You think you're gonna uh, chip all 
of, of Israel. Not gonna happen, man. Right. He thinks he's the most side. He got his surveillance and cameras everywhere. But what, what the eyes of the Lord are the angels, right? Esau knows that. Mm -hmm. That's why he got his a TV, may have a camera, or your microwave. Cameras everywhere. You've been surveillance everywhere. You got the fucking um, Alexa, people got Alexa in their house. A what? Alexa. Oh the yeah. Amazon shit. Yep, yep. Yeah, so technology is increasing. Yeah. You know, so we we're definitely living in the last the final seconds of the last days, man. Okay. Lord willing they do that uh Fed now. Yes. Um I, what July first? July first is supposed <laughs> to go is supposed to go up. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. Well it's nevertheless the money's still gonna collapse. It's yeah. still gonna be a cashless society. Okay, though it Terry Wait for it. Oh, so like you, you got saw it. the video in Nigeria. Nigeria basically is going to be the first nation to fully implement uh, CBDC. Which they already do it. They already did it. They already use the CBDC over there in Nigeria. But they had a video with the one Jake. He, he stumbled across. I don't know if he was working at the place. It was a place where they were just grinding all the cash. Ooh. And he was bugged out. Jake was yeah. like, they grind the money. They grind the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It was like a fucking pool full yeah. of ground up money. Yeah. Recently, right? Yeah. Yeah, recently. That's that's going on now. <laughs> that's not being talked about on, uh, on the news media. Like that, right? Nah. Okay not. then. And, and that's like, Jake. Yes, it's Jake in Nigeria over there. They 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 they're doing the money. <laughs> they grind the money. Yeah, you you, you goofy. <laughs> right. We trying to tell y'all that. Stop trusting in uncertain riches. Stop trusting in, in, in his paper money, man. Put your trust, trust in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So a lot of you people are gonna be bugged out. Yeah. Bugged out now. Anything else, brother? Nah, that's what I'm okay. So with that, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash, double honors to the apostles and great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.